Hey guys, it's Gameface here, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Act Karuma. Now in today's episode, we're going to be getting a little bit further through the summer transfer window. Maybe getting towards the end, we'll have to wait and see how many transfer offers we put in, and also how many players we get rid of as well. And uh, we should have time for a few games, the first of which is against Eagles in the league, and uh, we'll wait and see how we get on against them, followed by a couple of other games as well, AZ being one of them, and then uh, another team that we have to play, potentially towards the end of this episode, if we have enough time. Um, before we get into today's episode, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for the support on the last episode, absolutely incredible. As usual, uh, I think we got over like 180 likes, very, very close to 200 likes, I think, on the first episode so far. So, thank you very much for that. So, if we could try and get over 150 likes on today's episode, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well down below, a little red button. That'd be absolutely fantastic if you could go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, this is the I'm going to go with for the opening game of today's episode. The reason why it's a little bit changed is because in the last episode, I was looking through your comments, and it seemed like a lot of people wanted to get rid of those players that have left in real life. Uh, which I was a little bit surprised about because I thought maybe we'd keep them for the first season, then get rid of them. But a lot of people wanted me to just get rid of them straight away. So those four of four players down here, Traore, uh, Rewild, Tete and Klassan have all been removed out of the team. And we're going to see how we cope without them before we get rid of them. So we are going to change in the team. This is how I'm going to go with the opening game of today's episode. We'll hopefully be selling those players that you guys mentioned and actually releasing Traore from his load as well is what I think I'm going to do. And of course we have to bring in some players to try and fill in those gaps that they have provided. So this is the side we're going to go with for the opening game of today's episode. Uh, usual sort of team, to be honest. Uh, Veltman comes in at right back, though. Uh, Delitz come in at centre back, and I think we've also brought in uh, Nuri as well. Let's play at centre attack in mid, and at Neres on the right hand side. So it's pretty much the same team, pretty much our strongest team that we had last episode, just with a few changes uh, for those players that have been brought out the side. Hopefully everyone's okay, still be playing Nuri. I know a lot of people in the comments were saying you should try and keep him, make sure that he becomes the talent that he was supposed to be. I think there was one or two people that said I shouldn't use him because obviously what's happened. In real life but I think I'm going to continue to use him and uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. Let's crack on with the first game of today's, today's episode. Hopefully get our second win uh, in the second league game of the season. Okay then here we go for this match against uh, Go Ahead Eagles. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'm assuming it's just as simple as that and uh, yeah we do have a game to play against them here. It's no way match. Uh, hopefully we can perform really well in the last episode. I think we won uh, fairly comfortably in the end term in terms of performance anyway uh, so it's a chance for us to hopefully try and do a similar sort of thing in this game if we can. Oh no, giving it straight to them on a plate here. Chance for the opposition. Always oh, beats the mind at centre back to it there, and it's very, very close. Just goes past uh, the goal, and uh, luckily for us, doesn't quite find the back of the net, but it's a close chance in the opening 10 minutes. Neves still running through here. Great chance, and he's put it right to the goalkeeper. It is his weaker foot, I think, his right foot, so a little bit frustrating about the, the finish. I didn't quite get it right there. It should have been aimed for one of the corners, but hasn't quite found the back of the net, but it's on target. It's a good start to the game, nevertheless. Yes, well played. Dahlberg wins the header. Chance for a counter-attack from their corner here. Zayek into Dolberg. He's going to have to play it here. Nuri's won it. Nuri looking for the through ball. It's a great chance for the centre mid to shoot. And it's a good save. Dolberg back into the middle. And couldn't quite get there. Maybe should have taken a touch there. Dolberg and gone for a cross uh, across the box as opposed to a pass. Uh, but it's a good chance nevertheless on the counter-attack. Still haven't managed to open the scoring yet. Nil nil. Shauna is going to cut back inside here, go for a little chip in there, great chance, oh what a finish from Dolberg, the strike has managed to get on the end of it, thought it was falling to Nuri on his head to be honest, but in the end it's Casper Dolberg that gets the goal and he flicks it past the goalkeeper, 1-0 and 32 minutes into this game, we've managed to put ourselves into the lead. Fully deserved, I think, as well. I've had the better chances. We've had three or four decent opportunities now, but this is a lovely little chip into the middle, just beats everyone around him to it and finds the back of the net, 1-0. Nuri, oh Nuri plays it through, great chance. Neres now going to finish this one off maybe, Dahlberg's there, is it offside? No it's not, it's a second. Just a few minutes later Dahlberg's made it 2-0, that's his second of the game and we've doubled our lead uh, with less than 10 minutes left of this first half. Fantastic way to do it as well, uh, great bit of play, opened them up and uh, got an extra player over on the right hand side there, Neres, uh, very very close to scoring himself, it's a great pass through there and uh, it's a really unlucky finish, the initial one, but a nice little tap in there on the plate for Dahlberg, it's 2-0 and already uh, looking like a, a pretty much a foregone conclusion to be honest the way we're playing. Yeah, right, it's going to look through to Casper Dolberg. He's looking for his hat trick now. If he can run through, still going, but just a tackle there at the last moment. A great tackle as well by the defender. Wins the ball, and uh, that attack comes to end. And that is it for the first half. Still in the game 2 0. Like I said before, it seems like Casper Dolberg now looking for his hat trick. He's got 45 minutes to try and do that. Let's wait and find out how he gets on. Okay, first two changes. About 30 minutes left of this game. Uh, Clavert's going to come on along with our new signing that we made in the last episode. That means Muri and also Yunez are both going to come off. Uh, Neres will go play on the left hand side now, and Ziyech will go play a centre in mid. We'll see how that goes. We might make the final change. We might not. It just kind of depends on how the team gets on in the final 30 minutes. 
We'll still have it, Cliver here, gonna shoot, Cliver, oh, saved by the goalkeeper. Final change, Zhang will come off, and we'll bring on Mahi and play him at central second mid, see how he gets on there, and uh, yeah, hopefully get on okay in our final 20 minutes or so. Kasper Dahlberg running through here, he's still got a bit of energy left in him, might have a chance to create something here for us, into the back post, Mahi's in there, oh, the substitute, very, very close. So getting his first goal for us since joining, really good header on it, just didn't quite have the accuracy. The actual power was alright, and uh, certainly a good enough jump, but couldn't quite direct on goal. Very, very close though to a third. Mahi through to Dahlberg, it's a great chance. Dahlberg, oh, nearly made it three, and couldn't quite follow it up either. Really good chance there for the striker to get his hat trick. He's got seven more minutes to try and do it, but it's looking a little bit more likely now. It's going to be another delivery into the back post. Neres, oh, what a save. Really good header from the winger there, considering he's not the tallest of players. Ball goes in there, and we've got another chance. Clivert's running through. Can he finish this one off? Clivert, oh, another good save. Dolberg must be there. Didn't let me shoot, and it gets cleared. So close, but again, the third goal just doesn't seem to want to come at the moment. So close for Clivert, and then a really good chance for Dolberg. Just has to hit it there. Takes another touch for some reason. It's offside anyway by the looks of it. But that's it. We've got ourselves a 2-0 and another three points for us, and this time a clean sheet as well, which is nice to see. And uh, that gives us, uh, like I say, another three points, which is a good start to the season. We are going to add some more players, I think, into this team, because um, even though we were so dominant in that game, there is still areas for, into, uh, for us to improve. I know Veltman's now, I think, the new Ajax captain in real life. I think certainly we need another right back in that position. I prefer a faster right back than him. Um, so we need to look for those in the market. I've got a few players scouted. You guys also left some great suggestions, loads of suggestions in the last episode. So I've shortlisted a lot of them already. Uh, and we're also going to take a look at this winger. I think one or two people weren't too sure about me signing him. And I know we have some other players that can play in there. But it's if Traore leaves, I think we still need one more winger. So it might well be that guy that signs for us. But this is the shortlist I was on about. These are all the suggestions that you guys left. As well as some that I've added in there as well. Quite a few that I've also added in. Uh, a lot of them have also been suggested by you guys so you might see some of your suggestions in there there's a few different players there for us to take a look at at some point whether it be this transfer window or next transfer window players like uh, um, Hunter Lau has obviously joined in real life so I think it makes sense to try and bring him in uh, it's just obviously got 32 grand a week which is a relatively big wage for our club but one player I'd definitely like to see brought in is this goalkeeper now we already have a really good goalkeeper for first choice but I would like to get a better backup goalkeeper and I think this is this is the right guy to get he has I think transferred to Ajax in real life so it makes sense to bring him in also so uh, because of that, it might be fairly pricey though for us. £5 million, obviously a big chunk of our budget, and we are going to go with that sort of bid. Just to kind of kick things off, hopefully they'll accept it, but we'll wait and see what they come back with. We are also waiting on a lot of scout reports to come back as well for some of these players. Uh, we are going to put in a bid for this guy, despite not getting a scout report back just yet. I think we'll go with £1.5 million. It's a very low bid just to begin with, to kind of test the waters. And then we're also going to put in bids for a couple of other players as well, one of which is going to be this guy. Now, if we are going to get rid of uh, one of our centre-backs, then we do need to bring in someone to replace him. This is the sort of guy I'm after to try and replace one of our centre-backs. He's left-footed, he's six foot four, and pace-wise isn't too bad either. So we are going to try and bring him in. We're going to put in an initial bid of about £4 million, I think. He would then act as a replacement to uh, Revald, who's obviously one of the players that could well be leaving. He hasn't actually left in real life officially, um, although it is rumoured heavily that he is going to Crystal Palace very soon. So until that happens, I don't think we'll get rid of him, just to be sure. Uh, we are going to do some... Uh, I think, in fact, no, we'll cancel, because if we're getting rid of him, we won't have him as part of the training panels. Instead, we'll include uh, De Litt and try and get him going up and overall. He is going to be a fantastic player for us, no doubt. If we can keep hold of him, then I'm sure he'll be absolutely fantastic. Let's see how we get on this week with the training drills. Clive at there, going up to 72 overall. Fantastic to see already him going up and overall. Our goalkeeper's not too far off 79 now as well. I'm sure he's going to be a fantastic one for us as the seasons go by. Okay, so I've got a lot of scout reports to take a look at now. I'll kind of go through these and see exactly exactly how the, the players are looking. So this is this guy that, that we're trying to put, bring in to Ajax. He has joined a real life, 76 overall. Kind of works out perfectly, I think, as a backup goalkeeper. And this is one of the players that we've just put in a bid for, as well as a replacement for Revald. So I think, again, he looks pretty decent. 74 overall, I think, could be a really good player for us. Just 22 years old as well, so a little bit of growth in him there. And Amrabat's a potential replacement for Klassan, who, again, is probably going to be leaving because he went to Everton in real life. He also looks really good, 19 years old, and he's a, not a similar sort of player. I won't go that far. He's more of a passer, more of a um, a, a strict sentiment to be honest as opposed to the centre attacking mid like Klassan uh, but certainly would be a good option for us if we have some money to bring him in. Okay at the moment not so good news uh, for Van a Aiken I think is how you pronounce his name. He looks to be on the way to final at the moment. £4.2 million pounds. Got to try and snatch him from our rivals and uh, see whether we can increase our offer a little bit because four million I don't think will be quite enough. So we'll match it. We'll go 4.2 just like Feyenoord did and hopefully then we can negotiate a personal terms so he can join. Also not so good news on the goalkeeper situation. They want 8.5 million pounds. 
a lot of money, of course. Um, so that means we might have to look to put in somebody as part of that deal. Uh, I'm not really too sure we do have anybody else we can really give. Okay, so we've got £6 million and chuck in a goalkeeper as well. He's only worth um, half a million, but we're going to see how it gets on with that. Uh, Beard, he's 35 years old as well, that goalkeeper, so I think we'll be happy to let him go and uh, try and bring in somebody else. Another bit accepted for Van Aken, it's again £4.2 million. Pounds. We've got to have some sort of response back from them at some point, otherwise we're not going to get him. The bit that I put in for a player I think called Troopy, I think is how I pronounce his name, uh, a right back, it has been rejected. £1.5 million, pounds, not enough apparently. Between 2 and 2.3 is what the chief executive seems to reckon, so I think we'll go with 2.2 to begin with, and uh, I suspect they'll want a little bit more if they weren't happy with 1.5. That's not good news. Uh, it seems like Van Aken has decided to join our rivals, Feyenoord, instead of coming to us. Okay, we'll look at different uh, people then that want to actually join our club, so uh, we'll have to forget about that one, but we do have many different options in the centre back position, although I will admit he was my first choice. So we'll take a look at some more now, and uh, hopefully try and sign somebody else. Okay, so we'll put in two more bids for different centre backs now. Again, this is just in case we get rid of one of our centre backs, um, as, as seems to be happening to Ajax in real life. So we're going to put in a bid for a guy called uh, Hugmar, another left-footed centre back, kind of to fill in for Reid Vald, who will obviously leave us at some stage, I'd imagine. We'll go two million pounds for him and uh, see what they come back and say. With that 18 years old, 70 overall, I think the sort of player that we need. He's not obviously going to kick Delete out of his position or anything like that. He'll still be a starter. And uh, in this situation, if we were to sign this guy, then maybe there'll be a bit more competition between those two. Uh, but again, another option. This guy's not left-footed. He's actually right-footed. Another Dutch guy uh, who's much faster than any centre-back that we have currently. So we'll take a look at him. Bit more expensive though, and I think the first bid will be uh, 3.7 million pounds. Okay, because I was so happy with the way that our wingers played in that last game, we are actually going to terminate the loan of Troy already. Obviously, left in real life, it was only a season loan, um, or maybe it was two years, I don't really know, but it ended anyway at the end of last season. So we are going to terminate that loan, it doesn't cost us that much, but we're going to do it now, and he'll be sent back to Chelsea, um, which obviously means I think there's a vacancy for uh, that needs to be filled now in that position. Uh, not someone as a starter, Nevers will still be a starter, we need I think another winger, um, just to be sure, I like to have a big squad if possible, and I think this is the guy we're going to sign up, a million pounds, uh, we're going to bring him in, he can also play striker as well, that's another reason why I'm looking at him, because he gives us a couple of different options, and uh, we are going to sign him up, nine grand a week, and it's only a small signing this one uh, compared to some of the others we're looking at, but I think it's the sort of play that we need to fill in for Traore. Okay, transfer for accepted here for the goalkeeper we're looking at, this is the guy that has joined the Ajax in real life. He's going to cost us a bit of money though, £6 million pounds is obviously more than I was hoping to spend on him, uh, 15 grand a week is, is, as well as how much he wants. In doing this we'd also get rid of one of our older goalkeepers as well which would be quite helpful for us. We'll also go import a first team player, I don't want him to be a starter, we've already got a starting goalkeeper that I want to try and grow. This guy is very much going to be a backup and a really good backup as well to be honest. Okay first of all we do have um, our bid being rejected uh, for Troopy, one of the right backs we're looking at. He's actually 71 overall, 18 years old, looks a really good young right back that we could train up nicely I think as well. We want £3 million for him, we'll go 2.5. I suspect they'll probably accept that one, but we'll find out after this next game I've got coming up. Okay, so this is what I'm going to go with for the next game that we have against AZ. Now, we're going to see how we get on um, with this team. It's a little bit changed to the last one. The reason why I've done this, I'll explain in a second. Now, but whilst we still have these players, um, we are going to still use them because we're not going to transfer this to the guys that we're trying to get rid of. We've got four names there that we're trying to get rid of because uh, they seem to be leaving in real life. We're not going to just take them out of the team completely. I did that for one game last time round because I wanted to see how we get on without them, basically. But whilst we still have them, we will use them. So that means we do have Tete starting at right back. We've got Klassan joins us here. Uh, on the bench, we also have Re uh, Reed Vald as well, another name that obviously seems to be leaving in real life. But um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will be starting all the games. We'll just be kind of putting them in and out of the team. And we'll continue to do that until they have been sold. Uh, again, like I was saying a bit earlier before, I haven't actually transferred this into any of these players. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see if I get bids in for them. So it might be that we don't get rid of them the first season. It'll just kind of depends to be honest whether we get bids in or not. But if we get bids in, then of course we will try and accept them. Anyway, on with this game. Let's see how we get on. Can we make it three wins from three in the league so far this season? Uh, PSV are currently top of the league because they have managed to do that. Let's see whether we can match up. Okay, here we go for this game at home against AZ. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully Casper Dolbo can be in good form yet again. Obviously getting two goals in the last game. So close to a hat-trick as well with a few good chances. Can we do just as well in this match? Let's wait and find out. Nuri, get a look through to Dolberg. It's a great opportunity. Dolberg, oh, what a challenge. By the centre-back, Dolberg just couldn't quite get away. Somehow found himself completely free in the middle. I've no idea why he wasn't being marked by a centre-back. Completely free, but uh, couldn't quite manage to get a shot on target. Dolberg, looking for a ball through. Great chance. Ziyech to finish it off. Oh, the touch was too heavy. Wanted a shot much sooner than that. And uh, Tim Krul comes out and gathers it really well. Could really be one or two up here. We have had some good chances. Haven't quite managed to execute them just yet. But we're getting close up. Approaching half time now though as well. 
Yes, well played. Ziak still going. Look for a ball through here. Nuri to shoot and hit this one. Or oh, just over the bar. Decent strike on the ball. Clean, but it's still managed to not quite dip enough to uh, challenge the goalkeeper. Dahlberg through to Nuri. Great chance again for the youngster. Always this time slotted at home just before half time. Nuri puts us 1 0 up and it's a really clean finish from him. Fantastic run through as well. Dahlberg holds it up fantastically. Plays a little pass on to him as well and uh, just manages to beat the def all the defence. Keeps control of it and this time beats uh, Tim Cruel as well. Fantastic way to end the first half with a goal. And that's it for the first half. Still winning the game 1 0, of course, with that late goal in the first half. Let's crack on straight away with the second half and uh, see how he gets on. Okay, so two changes. Makocho and um, Cliver to come on I think is what we're going to do we'll take off Ziyech and also Nuri as well Nuri I think we're going to have to try and train up his stamina a little bit getting quite tired around the 60th minute a lot of the time uh, but both of those two come off and that means uh, two changes with about 30 minutes left in the game and uh, again we'll look to make the third one if we need to Cliver through to Dolberg. he's going to cut inside oh gets brought down it's a stone wall penalty is that one really poor foul Gets none of the ball whatsoever, and uh, that'll be an easy penalty for us. I don't really know who does the penalties usually for IX, but uh, we'll take a look at who we've got uh, on the pitch at the moment in terms of penalty ability. Uh, it might well be Dahlberg, but uh, we'll see who we have. Is he our best penalty taker? Uh, 74 penalties, 75 with Klassan. Uh, I think we'll go Dolberg, get him some goals. Uh, of course, that's what he needs as a striker. Let's see how we get on here. Dolberg, I say get him some goals. It's saved. 20 minutes left of this game. And I uh, was unable to get ourselves a second goal again. Cliver into Dolberg. Dolberg still going. Oh, so close to a second. Another really good save by the goalkeeper. So far, I've noticed the keeper seems to be pretty good here in the Eredivisie. And uh, they have stopped a lot of good chances in both the two games we've had. Cliver again finding Dolberg this time with a little bit of luck. Dolberg to finish it off maybe. He has done. He gets the second goal finally. Makes up for his penalty miss just a little bit earlier on. Casper Dolberg uh, scores yet again. That's three goals in two games for us in today's episode. And with ten minutes to go we manage to double our lead. A little bit of luck. I don't know what the centre-back's doing really. Just allows Dolberg to get past him and get the ball. Very strange but uh, still manages to uh, also finish it off brilliantly as well. Dolberg looks a really good striker. Very impressed. Never used him before uh, on this career mode anyway and uh, so far so good from him. He will actually be the player to come off now with 10 minutes to go. We'll bring on Mahi, one of our newer players that we've brought in and uh, just give Dolberg a rest for the final 10 minutes. Ball over the top there to Neres. He's running through. Can he make it 3-0 for us? Neres! Oh, the greatest finish. Doesn't seem to hit it with enough power there. It's a good save anyway by Krull. Cliver through to Mahi. Great chance for the striker to shoot and hits the post so close to getting a third goal. Yunez now to deliver into the back post. Neres to put it on a plate for us. It might shoot and gets blocked. Can't believe we haven't got a third goal this game yet again. Such good play and it just hasn't quite been rewarded. Really good blocks by the goalkeeper and also the defenders as well. Cliver to hit this one and blaze it over the bar. But that's it. We have won the game 2-0. A lot of three points for us in the back in today's game. Um, these two uh, games we've played, we haven't been challenged as much as the first one. Uh, but of course, we are expecting to dominate the, the teams pretty much, in, to be honest, in the league. I expect us to win most games. And uh, the main aim of this Corona is to try and become European champions again. So we've obviously got the Europa League this season. And then next season, I'm hoping to be in the Champions League. And I want to try and really compete in the Champions League. Uh, that's going to be the aim. Not necessarily just trying to win the league. We expect to do that. Uh, it's it's going into Europe and trying to win the European Cups. And after that win, that does put us first in the league, just above PSV, I believe, on goal difference. Uh, we've had only actually conceded one goal so far, which is good news. That was in the first league game of the season as well. Uh, so, so far, we're doing really, really well. Uh, and I'm very happy with the performances as well, scoring some goals, creating a lot of chances as well, which is nice to see. Let's go with uh, swimming some more drills this week, see how we get on. In fact, what I promised was actually to train up Nuri's uh, stamina, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So yeah, we'll go with this drill, train up on his stamina for a few weeks, try and get it a little bit closer to sort of 70 uh, or into the early 70s if we can over a few weeks. Um, so we'll wait and see how he gets on this week. And uh, yeah, just one stat I think going up across the board, but wasn't really expecting too much growth this week. Okay, transfer friend here. This is for Tete, one of the players that we we're interested in letting go because he's gone to Leon in real life. So this is exactly what we want to happen throughout this transfer window and other transfer windows. Hopefully we're getting bids for the players that we want to get rid of. So Dortmund here, £8 million, a fair bid. Uh, I think we're going to ask for more, though. We're going to say £9.5 million. I think he went for about four or five million euros, I think, in real life. A real bargain, I thought, at the time. Uh, well, that's for 9.5. We could probably even get more, to be honest, but I just want to make sure he does leave us and for a fair price. That's the reason why I'm not transfer listing these players. I want a decent amount of money for. And we do have our bid rejected here for Justin Hoog Hoogma. Hoogma, uh, I think is how you pronounce it. 2.9 million pounds is how much they want. We're going to say 2.5. I think that's a little bit closer to what they're after and should be accepted. We've got Real Batiste trying to sign the goalkeeper they're after now. 6.5 million pounds. They've gone with straight cash as opposed to 6 million. 
Mandalorian and the player. Bid rejected, and uh, we have accepted an another offer. That's not good. Player's really challenging us. He's gone to Bordeaux, so he's gone. We can't sign that centre-back now. We've really been challenged by other oppositions. It doesn't usually happen as frequently as this uh, for me. Uh, we do have the goalkeeper accepting, though, and we are going to sign him up. £6 million pounds plus a goalkeeper going the other way. Uh, hopefully it's okay for me to get rid of that goalkeeper. He's 35. don't really see him uh, being too beneficial to the team, so we're going to get rid of him. I'm bringing a backup goalkeeper who's very, very good as a backup. 76 overall is fantastic, really, uh, considering the other keepers that we have. Um, so glad to bring him in there. Of course, it's a lot of money, but we'll get some more money in there for Tete, and we're bringing in a much cheaper right back uh, to come in and play for us. Dortmund, go ahead and match the deal. £9.5 million, pounds. that's great news. And uh, I think we should have Hoogman now in the bag in a couple of days' time. He wants just over 4000 or close to five. in fact. We'll just go ahead and match it. And we'll go five-year deal, and I think scrub rotational player is probably fair enough. He might even be a little bit less than that. But we'll go scrub rotational, and uh, hopefully we can match it. And the bid for uh, Trupi has been accepted. £2.5 million, pounds, I think, is what was agreed. This is the right-back that's going to come in to try and, um, I suppose, fill in Tete's role. And he's uh, much faster than the other right-backs we have. Veltman uh, is another right-back that we have. But I think I'm going to try and start with this guy, because he's faster and it will probably help me a little bit more with the style of play that I go with. Another five year deal and again we're going to play it down a little. We'll go scrub rotational play just to make sure that um, he'll be happy with his role. Play a soul. Tete goes to Dortmund. It's seven million pounds for us in the bank there. That's good news. A decent chunk of money uh, to try and recuperate from one of those players. Of course spending six million pounds on the keeper was quite a big chunk as well. Um, one of the players that we're going to now try and sign on the back of getting more money in is a new centre back. It's going to be Hugma. He's going to come in. I think when we get rid of Reedvald this is going to be the guy to replace him. Uh, it might be next episode it happens might be in January, might be next uh, next summer, so it's difficult to know really. We're going to sign him up now though just to make sure we have someone uh, to come in and we are also going to be signing a new right back as well. £2.5 million, pounds, not bad considering we sold our last one for 9.5. so we saved some money there and I'm hoping that this guy can also grow potentially as well. 18 years old, 71 overall, definitely some growth in him. Okay, and that is everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we won't quite have enough time to get onto this game just yet. That'll happen next episode. PSV have started this season really well. They've won the first four games of the season. Certainly going to be competing with us by looks of throughout the season as well. And they're very happy with the signings we've made so far. Of course, next episode, there's a little bit of uh, time left in the transfer window. It means that we might not necessarily get rid of Klaassan, as I explained. It means that we might want to leave in January. It might be next summer. It'll just be when we get a convenient offer in, basically. Uh, same with Reedvald as well. He hasn't actually officially left yet as I'm recording this, so uh, he could well stay, in fact, as well. Uh, but so far, I think we've made some really good signings. Very happy with that right back in particular. He could come in and do a really good job for us. Uh, nice to sign another Dutch player, along with a couple of other Dutch players as well, to be honest. Van Delier, another one of them. And so, so far, I think we've brought in some really good uh, talented players, some good youngsters as well, and uh, very happy with your guys' suggestions. Continue to leave them in today's episode, and I'll read and reply as usual. Thank Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and 150 likes, then that'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, if you're new to the channel or just haven't subscribed yet, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. It'd be absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the day after for the IX career mode. Of course, you can join me tomorrow for the Man City one, and uh, that'll be at 12 pm. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.